When Gavin's son Kenneth followed him into the police service, neither of them thought that he would make the headlines or the statistics as a valiant officer killed in the course of his duty. However, only days before Christmas, a routine raid on a cannabis farm turns into tragedy when Kenny is mown down by a fast-moving motor vehicle while attempting to arrest one of the gang. Was this a bid to free the suspect, or perhaps an attempt to silence him before he can reveal gang secrets to the police? Or was it a personal attack on PC Kenneth Hughes himself? DCI Jonah Porter comes out of retirement to lead the hunt for the vicious killer, ably supported by his assistant Bernie and a team of detectives. Meanwhile, Gavin and his wife Chrissy struggle to learn to live with the sudden loss of their only son in this poignant story of heroism and grief. Launching on Good Friday, April the 10th, this book is available through Amazon and Kobo. Search for Bernie Fazakali in the Amazon, Kindle, Kobo or Audible stores for this and other stories about Bernie, Jonah and their friends in Thames Valley Police. There are 13 Bernie Fazakali mysteries, a book of short stories and two further novels, each providing an exciting story and food for thought about various social and ethical issues. E-books are £2.99 or $3.99 in the USA. Paperbacks are £8.99. Buy two and you qualify for free delivery on Amazon. Now, to whet your appetite, here are the opening lines of Weed Killers or Christmas Morning. What's up? Are you okay? Peter stepped back to allow his unexpected visitor to enter. Yes, I'm fine. Trainee Police Constable Stella Gilbert nodded perfunctorily and looked up at Peter with a weak smile. Then she bowed her head and shielded her face from his gaze by putting up her hand to remove her uniform hat. It's just... Inspector Burson told me to go home, but if I'm back before the end of my shift, Gran will want to know why, and I... She sniffed and wiped her arm across her face. I don't want her to. Peter stared in dismay as she seemed to be about to break down in tears. He put out his arm towards her, shepherding her past the old-fashioned oak hall stand, gaily decorated with tinsel and fairy lights in recognition of the season, and down the passage towards the kitchen. Come in here and sit down and... Grandad! A small child emerged from a room on the left, ran down the hall and took hold of Peter round one leg. Come back and play! Not now, Ricky, Peter told him gently. We've got a visitor.